purely pets to animals needing a new lease of life. Our next guest has treated all of them using new techniques in his heartwarming Channel 4 series. Let's take a look. Oh, man, I've mm. done it already. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? So, no, you're crying. <laughs> uh, now for his latest project, Super Vet Noel is swapping the surgery for the stage. He's on a nationwide arena tour for animal lovers everywhere, and he joined us now. Good to have that you. That was so sweet to see your response to that. It's I mean, it, it was stuff. beautiful. It was beautiful. Well, yeah. It's all about love, and he's got a lot of love Well, in his that's heart. it, and that's what the tour's about. You know, I just thought... Well, firstly, my nurses need a holiday and I haven't taken one of those for 20 years. So <laughs> oh. I decided I'd take a few weeks. But also, uh, that thing you said about love, I just imagined that if I got in a van and I brought those stories of love around the United Kingdom, we live in a tough world, you know, yeah. there's a lot of difficulties in the world, let's say. And to bring that love up close and personal, you know, in a little theatre, as if you and I are chatting here, is just magnificent. The vibe you get back, children knitting me a scarf yeah. with hedgehogs on it. Yeah. Uh, they're holding my, my kids' book, Vet Man, close. They want to hear, you know, how did that dog come in? Was everything lost? What did that feel like, Noel? And by the way, why are goldfish gold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought I'd bring a tour of love uh, across the nation. And I really genuinely hope that even people who haven't got a dog or a cat in their life, uh, will come and share in those stories of love and hope and redemption. Yeah. Now, no, I do have a dog. He does it's have a dog. It's just not my dog. dog. It's living in my home. Lives in the house. Oh, I see. But yeah. really like Alex. On to a good Bobby. thing. He's probably watching now, if we're honest with you. I love that. Hi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah. Treat Allison, you're the mammy, really, aren't you? Oh, he loves me. Yeah. He loves me when I come home. He's well, the, the, but that's the bond. The bond of every, every bond you see in a show. When we started the Super Vet, you know, 16 series ago, um, people said, well, we don't really want to make a show about science. It's not a show about science, it's a show about love. Yeah. yeah. And, and that kind of love is unconditional. And what I wanted to do was just have everybody in the room just sitting there feeling like you just felt when you saw those little clips. And I'll tell stories yeah. about love, hope and redemption, and also difficulties and failures and things that haven't gone so well that reflect in people's lives generally. You know, things don't always go well. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that stress? Mm. And what I found most interesting the last time I went on tour was the person who came along, dragged along by the girlfriend or the boyfriend, and like, ah, oh, he's only a vet. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna sing? Is he gonna do river dance? Is he <laughs> gonna operate? No. Categorically, I'm not gonna do any of those things. You'd be very <laughs> pleased to hear, Dermot. I won't be auditioning for any of your former shows. <laughs> but what I am gonna do is tell stories that will help anybody in any walk of life to cope with any situation through that currency it's of It's funny, love. isn't it? Because owning a pet is a microcosm of, 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 of life. Of, of life. Like, you know, you, you yeah. experience so much in a, in a condensed period yeah. of time. Everything through that, that wonder, yeah. the wonder when you first get them and, and sort of helping them grow up through to the, the relationship you have with them as, as, well, as, they, as they well, become as you mature. Say, and then you, you learn about grief and loss as well. Yes, and I, I went through that myself personally with my own dog, Kira, and remarkably, Last night, you won't believe this, last night at midnight, I was sitting in the wards with a puppy called Kira, named after my dog, no. a border terrier that I fixed last night. And that's the circle of life. Yeah. Honestly, I was tearing up like you were earlier because I just thought, as you said, that's love yeah. coming back. And it's magnificent because Kira was on my last tour with me. So on my very first uh, talk about this tour, she comes back. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah. It's really lovely. No, where did the love of, 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 of not so much animals, but the idea of, of, uh, of using these incredible uh, techniques and, 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 and using science come for you? Like, was it early in your veterinary career when you thought, um, well, hang on, what can I... Let's not, let's not take the... Not the easy option, but let's, mm. let's not take the obvious option here. How can we try and expand? Well, I should say three things about that. The first thing is that it has to be ethically right to do yeah. it. It's not, it's not enough to be able to do something. It needs to be morally and ethically the right thing to do. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is technology's moved on a pace. You can have all this stuff in humans, and they get it from, you know, an experiment on an animal. Let's, yeah. let's be honest. And thirdly, my goal is to give people all the options. And one of the things you don't see on the show is the people who just get a packet of tablets and say, here's my hug, this is my blessing, go and do the best you can. Yeah. Because that's not a television show. I mean, yeah. you know, you, you, there needs to be a number of beats in the story and therefore people get the impression, well, all you do know is bionicness. So it's not true. I give people a hug and give them some tablets. Yeah. 
So to come to your question, from an early age, I was just really frustrated putting twigs on lamb's legs to mend them with baler twine right. in the Republic of Ireland and seeing my dad with a lamb with a fractured leg. And he could take any bit of baler twine and fix a leg. And I thought, wow. And then I read about Wolverine with a metal endoskeleton. Yes. And then I invented <laughs> Vetman in my head that would mend all the animals with these bionic things. And then I got very frustrated because human surgery has all this stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, well, why don't we have that stuff? when animals were experimented on yeah. to give it to humans. And so we're now in the crossfire between the future and the past. And I want to reflect on that in the tour. I want to talk about why we're in that crossroads. Because if we want the cures for the future in cancer and stem cells and arthritis, if we want those, because we really want to cure those diseases, we should work together, yeah. animals and humans, one medicine. So that's a big part of the show as well. Love and oneness. No, I can see you are very, you connect with people on a, a massive level, I can see that straight away. And I can imagine this tour is gonna to be amazing. But do you still have a deeper connection with animals? Yeah, I would rather be around <laughs> an animal any day, largely because well, they're, so. they're not hypocritical. <laughs> Unless I get to bring you back to the practice this morning, because all of my nurses <laughs> told me that if you could possibly get Dermot into can, the boot of the car, bring him back. We can send him back to the back. show if you want. Uh, I'd love um, to go back. <laughs> accepting present company, um, to answer your question, as a kid, I had a tough time, uh, liked animals, found dif humans difficult. Mm -hmm. And on the tour, I get to meet a lot of children and a lot of adults that are finding it difficult to connect, not just with humanity, but with themselves. Yeah. Now, the love they feel with a horse, with a ferret, with a dog, with a mm -hmm. cat is amazing. Yeah. Because it unlocks that part of us that makes us human at all, which is the essence of humanity, i.e. love. So I find the company of an animal easy. I find the company of a dog or a cat uh, almost an enlightenment because they're an in -tuneness. And I, yeah. I, I sit down with an aggressive dog and they calm down mm. because I'm, invite, I'm asking them to invite me in their space. Yeah. I don't want to force anything on anybody. Yeah. I just want everybody to realize we're all made of love. That's our molecular structure. We're all the same. So let's be loving, respectful and kind to each other. And that's what the tour is about. Thanks. I mean, that's just a, wow. that was like a TED talk. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Noel's tour, and even in Noel Fitzpatrick kicks off on Thursday, the 3rd of November. Tickets are on sale now at noelfitzpatricklive.com. Noel, thank you. Thanks, so much. Thanks guys. Love you. Us. Great Lovely to, have to see you in the flesh. Love you guys. Thanks. All right.